lecture we are discussing the basics of programmable logic controller plc uh, whenever a plc is connected to a process it takes feedback from the process through various input sensors like uh, pressure sensor temperature sensor photo sensors and also through various switches like uh, push buttons limit switches temperature switches and pressure switches and depending upon the program that you have written into the plc the plc will drives the actuators like motors drives pumps lamps etc for controlling the process used plc programmable language is ladder logic so here we have shown a simple example of ladder logic uh, when either of the three switches are in on position so the plc will drive the light output the plc system block diagram will consist of an input module uh, where all the field sensing inputs are connected so the main purpose of uh, input module is to provide uh, logic conversion signal conditioning and isolation so depending upon the program that have been written into the cpu the cpu will drive the output through the output module and there will be a power supply module which will powers to all the modules present in the plc system and the commonly used plc configurations are micro plc mini plc and rack plc so depending upon the process input and output requirement the user will select the type of the plc plcs can be used for the automation of any process industry it can range from offshore platforms to petrochemical industry chemical plants automobile industry etc you name any industries plc can be used for the automation of that particular process so advantages of plcs are ruggedness because plcs are designed to withstand extreme industrial environment like vibration temperature humidity noise etc they are having very high reliability and other advantages of plcs are programming so all the plc programming language like ladder logic uh, sequential function chart structured test functional block diagram all are easy to implement without any prior high level language experience the power supply module is the basic module of the plc which takes the ac input and produces the dc output the dc output ranges from 3.3 volts dc and 5 volts dc for the cpu and 24 volts dc for the input and output module the cpu module which is the uh, decision making module of the plc consists of a microprocessor ram flash memory io ports io ports are used for connecting to the input and output modules of the plcs in addition to this the cpu also consists of a serial interface or ethernet interface these interfaces are used to connect to the plc programmer or to the scada system input module shown here is of uh, 24 volts dc digital input module which accepts eight inputs whenever a switch is closed the 24 volts dc is applied to the input on the right side top you can see whenever 24 volts is applied the opto transistor will be switched on and this change in signal level is sensed by the cpu suppose if your uh, input is of 230 volts or 110 volts ac then we have to select the digital input module which accepts this ac internal to this digital input module there will be a rectifier which converts uh, this ac to dc and then further it applies to the opto transistor the digital output module shown here is of uh, relay output uh, module so the advantage of relay output module is we can connect either ac or dc controlling devices but disadvantage of this relay output module is you cannot use for fast switching applications if your application requires uh, fast switching then we have you can go for opto transistor for uh, dc control devices and opto track for ac control devices thank you for listening my lecture